welcome back to my channel. My name is Peyton, and today I really want to just dive with you, dive in with you guys about our dreams. I want you to dream along with me today, and I want to just really just tell you the purpose of why we're starting a YouTube channel to begin with. So, a little bit about our backstory. My husband and I, we have been married for going on six years next month, and where we are today is so far from where we see ourselves in the future. We have some big, scary, scary dreams. But what we were reflecting the other day about how far we've already come. We have been in this house here, gosh, over two years now. When we first got married, we, we moved into the cookie cutter American dream house with a little small backyard, you know, the clubhouse and all those things. Beautiful big house, brand new. And we realized pretty soon that that's just not what our heart desires. And we really craved that simpler life that we wanted to raise our children. We realized we wanted to grow our own food, have more control over what food we put into our bodies, what food we give to our children. We didn't even know that we could do that in this little plot of land that we had here. And this house was really just like a stepping stone to that dream that we have. We're on a quarter acre here and never did I imagine that we could have laying chickens in a meat oper a small scale meat operation and growing food in a garden for our family. Never did I think that. This journey really started when we were at that big house. When we were living there, my husband and I are both in the medical field. So I am a pediatric nurse practitioner and my husband is a physician assistant for internal medicine. So he sees adults and children as well, um, but mainly focuses on adults. So when we started raising our own kids, we really dove deeper into natural remedies and natural living. And that's where Young Living played a huge role in that, that process for us. So we now don't use any medications or anything like that and really just choose more natural remedies. So herbs, we choose plants, uh, oils. We have all of our medicine cabinet is basically oils and natural supplements now rather than things that you can get over the counter or things that are prescription. So that was the huge, I would say, turning point for us in our journey, because if for those of you who aren't medical, your training is basically nothing of like natural. And my husband and I didn't want to be using those things on our children when we started having kids and on our bodies. And we started making these switches in our home to more plant-based, more non-toxic living, more handmade, homemade items, and saw a huge change in our health and our behavior in our, our children, especially our oldest. So this whole lifestyle of the essential oils, of growing your own food, of raising your own chickens and your own meat and knowing what is going into it, uh, it all ties in together. It's getting back to the roots. The way feel, we feel is the best way of living for our family. The hustle and bustle, we did that. The never ending play dates and never ending things on your list, we've done that. And we really crave that simple living, um, especially for raising our children, especially in the way the world is right now. So that's just, that's kind of our mission. You see that squirrel? Literally squirrel moments, that's awesome. But when we started learning about everything, when we moved to this house, we didn't think that we could even do what we do now. And we literally could probably do way more than we already do. But it's so easy to um, get caught up in somebody's and see somebody's end point, like your dream, dream big. Like you want that big, beautiful homestead and raising all of your meat and growing all of your vegetables and canning all of that. It's so easy to get caught up in someone else's end point when you're still stuck over here in this waiting period before you can get to that point. But something that I've been praying about and the Lord has been really telling me is that he's teaching me to be a good steward of what we do have now. I would love 30 chickens, pigs, cows, but he will not bless us with more if we're not good stewards of what we have. So even though we're in this waiting season, this waiting season I call it, until we get that big dream that we're dreaming so hard for, I'm going to be thankful and I'm going to take really good care of the seven chickens that we have and all of our rabbits that we do have. And I'm going to coddle my tomato plants and I'm going to be so thrilled for every zucchini and collard green that we get because it is a blessing that we have now and I know that all of these things that we're learning along the way the good and the bad like those dang 
uh, caterpillars that are eating up our squash and our zucchini. We're learning from that now. And I am so thankful that we are doing this on such a small scale to begin with and learning this way because I can't imagine of having like rows and rows and rows of crops get destroyed on newbie mistakes on things that we didn't know until now. We can actually make a difference here to a simpler life in this small area that we do have getting to our bigger dreams. And that is pretty much our mission here is and why we're starting the YouTube is to bring you along with us to show the ups and downs and to have an account that you guys can see that is sharing with you guys along the way, not just the end point of milking that beautiful milk cow that they have. So we're learning along the way and we wanna share the good stuff and the bad stuff with you. The desire of our heart is to teach you during our learning process and the season of waiting and to show you guys why we're living this lifestyle and how you guys can make those choices too if that's what your heart desires as well. So a little fun fact, we had never held chickens until we picked up our pullets for the first time. So really when I say that we know like barely anything before jumping into this, like we of course researched, but experience level is zero. My parents didn't farm and definitely didn't hold chickens or anything like that. And Robert's definitely didn't either. So this is all new to us. We're first generation learning how to homestead and can and all that fun stuff. The first time um, we brought the chickens home, I was like a little scared because their, their feet are like scaly. So I was a little scared to hold them. They're a little sketchy because they're flighty. Robert went to go pick one up thinking it was like super sweet. And actually this one here, Esther, our Americana, she jumped up and like clawed Robert on the forehead. So, you know, he's going in to work with scrubs on and a mask and got this big chicken scratch in the, his forehead. And um, he's like, I am never, ever, ever holding chickens again. This is all you, you can do it, I zero desire. And we have come such a long way. Like he is trimming their wings so they don't fly over the fence to the neighbors. He is doing almost all of the animal chores. So I just pray that you guys don't let fear which is dry, driven by the enemy, stop you from doing these dreams that you have. Just just do it. Say yes and figure it out later. Pray along the way and steward what the Lord has given you and he's going to bless you. So with nervousness and excitability and vulnerability, we share our hearts with you guys just in hopes that it may embolden you guys to take that leap of faith and live out your dreams and dream big. So if you guys are dreaming in having a homestead and having 10, 20 acres or whatever your heart desires and you're scared to make that or if you're in that season of waiting, it's okay. It's okay to do that. Continue dreaming and make baby steps now to live that simpler life. And one day you're gonna be blessed with those dreams.